हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रशांत विश्वनाथ धनशेट्टी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे आई एम हियर टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द इन्फ्लुएंस लाइन डायग्राम फॉर मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग मोमेंट अंडर द चूजन व्हील लोड्स द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ टूडेज लेक्चर इज द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी able to find out the condition for the maximum bending moment for the chosen wheel load and they will be able to calculate the maximum bending moment for the system of load under the chosen wheel load now the maximum bending moment under the chosen wheel load let us consider a load system moving here so it will be moving from a to b let p be the chosen load under which we have to find out the maximum bending moment so for what will be the maximum bending moment under this chosen wheel load for that first we have to find out the resultant of all wheel loads so this will be the resultant of all wheel loads that is w and wl will be the resultant of all wheel loads to the left of the chosen wheel load and d1 is the distance between the resultant of left hand side load and the chosen wheel load and d2 will be the distance between chosen wheel load and the resultant load and let x be the distance of the resultant load from the middle center of the girder va is the left hand reaction and vb is the right hand reaction now for this we have to take a bending moment about b to find out the reaction va so for finding out the reaction we will just consider this two reaction and the resultant load w so for that taking moment about b this va into l so this total distance is l is equals to this resultant load so that is resultant of all the loads so we are not going to take all the loads and distance we are going to take resultant load that is summation of w into this distance so this distance is l2 l by 2 minus x so therefore va is equals to this summation of w divided by l so l from this it will come into denominator into l by 2 minus x now to find the bending moment under chosen wheel load so for this bending moment i will consider again the left hand section so here va into this reaction into this distance now so this distance so that is l by 2 plus x this up to this it is minus d2 means i will get this distance so this m is equals to va into l by 2 plus x minus d2 minus uh, this one is load is there that is the resultant load in the left hand side into the distance it is d1 so now therefore m is equals to now i will put this value va so va we have calculated here so it is summation of w by l into bracket l by 2 minus x into l by 2 plus x minus d2 bracket close minus summation of wl into d1 so this we will treat as equation number 1 now this is equation number 1 so to find out the maximum bending moment for that so we have to take dm by dx is equals to 0 so for that again i will multiply this now so this both the bracket i will multiply summation of w by l into now this l by 2 into l by 2 it is l square by 4 plus l by 2 into x it is l by 2 into x then l by 2 into minus d2 then again i will multiply with this minus x term minus x term into l by 2 i will get minus l by 2 into x then minus x into x again i will get minus x square then minus x into minus d2 i will get x into d2 and minus wl summation of wl into d1 will remain as it is so now if i multiply again this with the all this so i will get m is equals to summation of now this l and 
from L square 1 L will get cancelled. So it is summation of W L by 4 plus summation of W by 2 into X minus summation of W by 2 into D2 minus summation of W by 2 into X minus summation of W by L into X square plus summation of W by L into D2 X minus W L summation of W L into D1. So now if I am taking the derivative of this in terms of x, dm by dx is equals to, so this is constant term, derivative is 0, again this one I will having this minus wl by 2 into 2x. So now before that, so this term and this term will get cancelled as because this is having positive sign, this is having negative sign. So my dm by dx will be, so this constant is equals to 0, then this constant is equals to 0, then minus this summation of w by l into x squares derivative is 2x plus summation of w l by 2 into d2. So derivative of x is 1 and this constant is again 0. So now summation of w by l into 2x is equals to summation of w by l into d2. So I will take this negative term on the right hand side. Therefore, x is equals to d2 by 2. So now as x is equals to d2 by 2, now we know the condition. So what it should be for maximum bending moment under chosen wheel load, the load system is to be so placed that on the girder that the chosen wheel load and the resultant of all wheel loads are equidistant from the middle of the girder. Now this chosen wheel load and this resultant should be equidistant from this center of the girder. So it is again d2 by 2, d2 by 2. Now we will see a problem. The load system moves from left to right on a girder of a span 10 meter and these are having the wheel loads and we have to find out the bending moment under 8 kilo Newton wheel load. Now for this, first we have to find out the resultant force or resultant load. So for that, I will take moment about 12 kilo Newton load. So 12 kilo Newton. So now resultant into x. So we don't know this x. So we have to find out x. So resultant into x is equals to the moment that is 12 into 0 plus 8 into this distance 1 plus 10 into this distance 1.2 plus 1 that is 2.2 plus again 10 into this distance that is 3. So from this I will get x is equals to 1.5 meter. So now this resultant will be 1.5 meter away from this 12 kilo Newton load. Now what will be the condition to have a maximum bending moment under 8 kilo Newton? Here pause the video and try to write answer on a paper. Now for the condition to be maximum under a chosen wheel load, it should be so placed that the resultant load and the chosen that is 8 kilo Newton load should be placed at an equidistance from the center point of the girder. So now we will place that position. So now the distance between the resultant load and 8 kilo Newton load. So now this is 1.5 meter from the 12 kilo Newton. 1.5 minus 1 I will get 0.5. So the distance between 8 kilo Newton and resultant load is 0.5. So this I have to place at an equidistance. So 0.5 divided by 2 I will get 0.25. So I will place this resultant 0.25 on the left side and this 8 kilo Newton load 0.25 on the right side to have a maximum bending moment under this chosen wheel load. Now again taking moment about A to find the reaction VB. So VB into 10, this is the distance, total distance is equals to 40 into, so this is the resultant into 4.75 distance. So this, from this I will get VB is equals to 19 kilo Newton. Therefore, VA is equals to this total load minus VB that is 21 kilo Newton. So for the maximum bending moment under 8 kilo Newton, so it is VB, VB into 
this distance. So this is 3.75 plus 1 that is 4.75 and this is anti-clockwise and 12 kilo Newton load will be clockwise it is minus 12 into 1. So this 19 into 4.75 because 19 is your VB reaction then 19 into 4.75 minus 12 into 1 you will get 78.25 kilo Newton meter. Now we will solve the same by influence line diagram method. So now if you have seen my uh, previous video to find out the bending moment, so the bending moment where you want to find the bending moment, so that ordinate will be AB by L means A means this distance that is 5.25 into 4.75 divided by L, L is 10 meter, so it is 2.494. And depending upon the similarity of triangle, you have to project this 10 kilo Newton loads position on this ILD. So this also load on ILD. So every load I have to take on the projection on the ILD influence line diagram. So I have to find out the ordinate or the height of each this with the help of similarity triangle. So you know this value, this height, you know this height and you know this value from similarity triangle you can find out this value. So the load into this ordinate addition of all this you will get the bending moment. So 10 into this ordinate then this 10 into this ordinate plus 8 into this ordinate plus 12 into this ordinate. So this addition I will get the bending moment that is 78.25 kN. So the maximum bending moment under chosen wheel load is 78.25 kN meter. So these are my references. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video.